today we are looking at two new creations from Lumen Top. The much awaited, much anticipated FW1A, that is the thrower version of the very popular FW3A, single emitter and a nice large reflector in this beast. Our second light is the Lumen Top EDC18, which is a triple LED light boasting all the power of the FW3A, but with a neck switch design. Welcome back. Shout out to Neil's Gadgets for once again sending me these lights for review. Thank you so much for that. I'm feeling just a little late to the party on this FW1A. I've had it for, oh, a week or more. Essentially what we're getting here is the FW3A body, but with a little bit longer head. We're, we're a little longer in size, but man, look at that reflector. Nice, deep, large, orange peel reflector that completely fills that beautiful head. Down there in the very center, I can see a, a perfectly centered LED. I like that kind of a black highlight right around the edge of the emitter that they used for the isolator. That emitter that I got in mine is a Cree XPL high intensity. It is being offered in some other flavors though. We can get it in the Nietzsche 219 and also it looks like they're offering XPL HD and that is the dome on LED, which will probably give you a little bit of a boost in output, but at the cost of some throw. I got the XPL High Cool White. Uh, the 1200 lumen rating, I believe, is for that emitter. In this body, we are the single 18650. That is an unprotected cell. These don't fit protected. The battery I happen to use in mine is the Sony VTC6. 30 amp discharge, capable. I have a button top version of this cell, but in the F, in this body, it fits just a little too tight because when they put the button top on, they re-shrink it. So there's a double layer of shrink and it's too tight, but you can see this one fits just perfect. We've also got the option for some new accessories. Neil has the 18350 bodies now available, the deep carry clip, and also a stainless steel bezel. Moving on to our EDC 18. Wow. I think that is beautiful. I really love what they did with the switch. How that nice green light just shows through the rabbit right there. That is slick. Even though this light looks very different in functionality, I think it's modeled a lot after the FW3A. The rated output's the same. It looks like we got the same driver. We got a slightly more functional tail cap. You can take this tail cap off and the parts don't fall out of it. I can fit my double shrink wrapped button top cell in this. Uh, still not good for protected cells though. They're too long or mine didn't fit anyway. Deep carry pocket clip. We've got the triples in the front. Mine is the XPL cool white. Also like the FW3A, we got the Andural user interface, which I really like for this light. Uh, the only thing, I wish they would have copied one more thing from the FW3A, and that's putting a piece of glass in front of the plastic lens. This here is bare optic. I, I poked it with a needle just to make sure because I couldn't get the bezel off. Ugh. I wish they would have gone ahead and put a lens in there. You know, the FW3A lens is, is pretty thin, but at least it's glass. Other than that, I have no complaints. This this seems like a great light. Um, I think this is the optic. Remember, I don't know if some of you might remember back when there was a delay in shipping on the FW3As because they kind of pulled a switcheroo and put that one piece optic in there. I think this is probably that. So we'll compare it to FW3As beam and see if they're similar or if one's better than the other and also get some shots with our new pocket thrower. The EDC-18 also came with this diffuser. There we go. If you turn it down, this is, this is off. That's just the glow from it right there. If you turn it on pretty low, it works 
After reading light. Let's compare the beam profile between EDC-18 and FW-3A. This is EDC-18. It's just on kind of a medium mode. And on the right is FW-3A. I tried to set them to where the brightness was as close to each other as I could. Um, to me, the the beam profile looks pretty much the same, even though we've we may have a different optic. I don't know. Here is my original FW three A. That is the on high mode. That's not turbo. I set them so their brightness will be similar. As you can see, this one's really wide. But we can get almost to the end of the yard. I can hit the sheds a little bit. Down in that other corner, it's pretty dark. Uh, now we'll go to the FW1A. Considerably tighter. No problem. Destroying the sheds. That dark corner. So it's definitely much more of a thrower. Uh, let's go back to the 3A. Now we'll try turbo for this one. Now we're down in the dark corner. <laughs> Man, that is impressive light. But not for long. It's getting hot already. Let's go to the 1A. Here's turbo. Not really as much of a jump from high to turbo on this one, but it uh, doesn't seem to be getting hot near as quick either. On the right it's the 1A. Here is the Lumen Top EDC-18. Lumen Top on the left, or the EDC-18 on the left, and we'll do FW-3A on the right. Really hard to tell them apart. It's <laughs> A wall or a wall out here. If you would like to get a Lumen Top FW1A or EDC18 of your own, there is a link for purchase in the description along with coupon codes to save you some money. As always, guys, super thanks for watching and good lucks.